Hello and welcome to Affinity for Games. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to install QEMU which is going to allow you to use your Raspberry Pi interface on Windows. Now it's going to be a fake machine so you're not going to be able to actually do everything that you normally would uh, which is in a lot of cases is actually a good thing like for example you're not going to be able to actually uh, readjust the file size of the SD card as you normally would in actual Raspi and Wheezy uh, therefore you're not gonna rewrite your hard drive or anything like that and let me go ahead and show you how to do that first you're gonna need to install some software and I'll provide links down in the description you're going to go to sourceforge.net and you can type in Raspberry Pi emulation for Windows. Once you're at this des destination, you can click download and you'll just download it like a normal program and save it to somewhere so it's easy to access for you. Uh, I have it saved to the desktop here. And let's go ahead and get it started up. clicked on the wrong thing all you actually need to click on is run right here and then it's gonna automatically start it starts with a command prompt and then it actually brings up the uh, window for QEMU for Raspi and Wheezy and this takes quite a bit of time to actually load up itself it's just like how the normal Pi interface would do so I'm just gonna let it run through its thing here Okay, now that the uh, QEMU interface is actually booted up, your default login and password is going to be the same as it normally would be. So this is going to be Pi, and then it's going to be Raspberry, all in lowercase. Let's press enter afterwards. Alright, so now we're at the normal terminal screen for the uh, Raspberry Pi. And like it says right above there, we can just type start x, and it's going to take us into the actual terminal. All right, and here is a glimpse of what the normal terminal looks like if you've never actually seen the Raspbian GUI. And this is a really great tool in case if you were ever thinking about like actually getting a Raspberry Pi and you're not familiar uh, with the interface. And especially if you don't know anything about Linux, it gives you a good tool to play around with. That way you're not actually going to break anything and have to reinstall the entire software. Alright, and so once you actually click on the window, it's going to take you into the actual virtual terminal here and you can uh, use your mouse as you normally would within the operating system um, to do anything normally uh, but if you try to go over to the edges you're not going to be able to get out of it so what you actually need to do at this stage is if you're on a windows machine you can hold down alt and press tab and that'll take you out of it and so that you can go back to uh, any of your other windows that you wanted to use Alright, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to install uh, QEMU. Thank you for watching, and if you found the video helpful, please click like, and have a great day.